Because without him, I don't know where I'd be. But thank God for grace and mercy. Yeah. Thank God that he has allowed my golden moments to roll on just a little while longer. And I'm glad this morning to stand and let the Lord know that I love him because he first loved me. I thank and praise God for Pastor Freeman. I thank and praise God for him yeah. and all that he is doing and all that he has done. And I pray that the Lord will continue to bless and continue yeah. to keep you, Pastor George, Bishop George. Amen. 30 years is a long time, but God has still shown you favor. And it's not yet clear what we shall be. But when he comes, praise God, we'll all be like him. Lord, I
will not be in a drought. Yes. Somebody tell him thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That we will not be parched or having no without. Yes. He said, I come that you might have life yeah. and life more abundantly. Yeah. So it is his love and his desire yeah. that he will bless us. And in spite of what we're going through, yes, every trial, every tribulation, yes. every heartache, and every pain, yes. God is still in yes. the blessing business. Yeah, yeah. Come on and tell the Lord, thank you. Yes. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually to be in my mouth. Thank you, Minister Smith. Touch your neighbor because she's still got it. Hallelujah. We praise God. Amen. For her life and her ministry. Amen. That has touched the entire world. We are very happy and elated today to have Grace in our edifice. Amen. And that will come and bring the word of God. I believe in times like these, everything, amen, that we are going through, yes. it is the word of God that's, that, that's going to help yes. us. Thank you, we are very Happy to have with us, amen, Reverend Pastor Kenneth Freeman amen. with us today from the new Greater Jerusalem Fellowship Baptist Church, amen, amen. here in the beloved city of Brooklyn, amen. New York. We ask you to pray with him and pray for him, amen, that he will come bring the word of God with power, yes. amen, real life. Each and every one of us, amen, has to be in tune yes. with the word of God. The grass with the flower fades, yeah, yeah, yeah. the words of our God yes. shall stand forever. Yes. Amen. We thank God for each and every one of you today that sit among these consecrated walls that has been noted as the house of prayer. As he come forth with us after two selections from the choir, we want you to be in a praying spirit, yes. a praying yes. spirit, Amen. a praying spirit, yes. where the Lord will bring forth yes. a fresh anointing yes. from the crown of the head to the soles of his feet in the word yes. of God. Yes. God bless your heart at this time we ask the choir. Thank you. 
and tell him, say amen. The reason why I know he's good is because he made my life. And I believe in all men alone. Oh, y'all missed that one. How about this one? He put bread on the table. I got no help in here. How about this? How about this? I got one more time. Press me right.
God, let the be be scattered. Now, if you love Jesus in this house, I need you to put your hands together. I need you to really put your hands together and give God praise. Amen and amen. Amen. I feel like having church. How many of y'all feel like church in the house? Would you do me a favor? Would you grab a nigga by the hand and look them in the eye and give them the give them your strategy before your rolls? Tell them, say neighbor. Come on, help me all. Tell them, say neighbor. Everyone on my roll. Tell them, everyone on my roll. Got to praise his name. Tell them, I don't know about you, but everybody.
Y'all too cute over there. How about I talk to y'all? Think about how the Lord opened doors and made the enemies leave you alone. How does that get the boy? And oh, thank you. This is my feeling the anointing of God. Anybody here feel like telling the Lord, thank you? How many know if you tell the Lord, thank you in advance, how many know the Lord will bless you in me? How many of you need a blessing? Don't you fool me, how many of y'all need a blessing? But run your head back and say, thank you, Lord. And you wash your dishes, and you do you wash them dishes right? The dishes are going to feel good. Start talking about thank you. Some of you walk around your house. Oh, my, some of you don't walk around. Some of you walk in your house and think about how good the Lord's been. That's really thankful. I need you to wave. Give him a thank you wave. The more you praise him, how many of you know the better you will be? You know, I'm trying my best to be nice. I'm normal on camera, but I got this real good birthday dance. I'm just working on me on my right hand side. Now, look, I'm trying to be nice. I'm on camera. But you know, and I'll keep walking down memory lane and thinking about what the Lord has done for me. I got the breeze, but I, this dance is working on me. And I got the nice soft swing shoes on this morning. I ain't got on no gators. I ain't got on no lizards. I put the soft on and I can't even get no real brain. Look at that. I'm only praising my God. 
Amen. Amen. Some folks got to look at still. But tell them, say, neighbor, don't look at me. You ought to praise him for yourself. I wish I had me one witness. How many of you know can't nobody praise him for you? How many of you know you got to praise him for yourself? My God. Can't nobody say hallelujah better than you can, but you. Uh-huh. Yeah, can't, can't nobody tell what the Lord has done better than you can. Would you do me a favor? Shake your neighbor's hand and say, neighbor, you can't tell my story. Come on, tell them, you can't tell my story like I can. Come on, clap your hand and give it. Amen and thank God. I kind of think, Bishop, that this one's going to be the hottest one on the network tonight. I wish I had the one witness. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. And, um, you know, I started not to go on the preach, Bishop, because we didn't have us a time already. But I got to preach because the Bishop invited me to preach. I ain't saying nothing. So, let me take my text and preach because if I don't preach the bishop may not let me come back no more. Amen. Will you do me a favor because when I was standing up here, I uh, talked about the bishop, but I need everybody to stand on your feet. Come on, stand by, stand on your feet. Come on, stand on your feet and do this for me because I believe in recognizing the men and women of God. Put your hands together for the leading lady here in Mount County, United Free Will Baptist Church. Come on, put your hands together for First Lady Dorch. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. You may be seated. You got a chance to hear one of Brooklyn's finest songbirds. In the person of Minister Anna Carter Smith, would y'all give her a good God bless you? Amen. One of Brooklyn's finest songbirds. Amen. Uh, Bishop, this is why I don't let her sing before I preach. So she makes it hard on the brother. Amen. From the fifth chapter of the gospel that is recorded by Saint Mark. Now listen, I like amen when I'm preaching. Amen. And since y'all invited me, y'all have heard me sing. Y'all know I got a passing gift. So I need y'all to help me preach. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 And uh, I need y'all to help me. Uh, uh, and, um, and, and let me say this, if you help me preach, I won't be long. Amen. Now if you get quiet, I promise I'll take up another hour. Say amen, so amen. 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 Now, y'all gonna help me preach? Yeah. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor. We got to help him preach. Come on, tell him, say, neighbor, don't you sit up there like you, like you, like you, like your mouth is like the Holy Red River froze at the mouth. Tell him, say, neighbor. We're gonna help him preach. Thank you so much. From the fifth chapter of the gospel recorded by St. Mark. Starting at verse 1. And we stand at the word of our God. Because somebody in this room knows that heaven and earth may pass away. But his word will always stand. And this is Super Bowl Sunday. Somebody say amen. amen. How do you know there's something important, more important in the, than the Super Bowl? Amen. And that is the word of God. And they came, somebody say, and they came, over onto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadarens, and when, somebody say, and when, he was come out of the ship immediately, there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit, somebody say, unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man, somebody say, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains. Now, I need y'all to help me in verse 4, because, somebody say because, because, that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, 
and the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him. Somebody say tame him. And always, night and day, somebody say night and day. He was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stones. But you ought to get happy at verse number six. All those that sanctify and know it for yourself. But when he saw Jesus, yeah. oh, let me press we mind, y'all ain't quite ready yet. But when he saw Jesus, yeah. oh, let me press it one more time, man. How about this? But when he saw Jesus, yeah. oh, fall off, he yeah. ran and worshiped him. Yeah. Yeah. He cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of the most high? I adjure thee by God that thou tormentest me not. Verse 8 gives me happiness on the inside. For he said unto him, Come out. I wish I had this. Somebody said, Come out. Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? He answered and said, My name is Legion, for we are many. Now, I need you to drop down a few verses because I'm gonna, since, since I have a southern idiom about me, I'm going I'm to I'm come at it at this, at this point. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now, there was not unto the mountain a great herd of swine feeding. Now, some of you don't understand what the word swine is. Just cross that out. That word swine just means pig. Amen. Not, look, don't y'all look at me like you don't know nothing, know nothing about no pigs. That's right, that's right. Everybody ain't from up north. How many southerners I got in this house? Yeah. Look at somebody and say, what you looking at? You know you know something about the pig. Yeah. Uh-huh. And he said, a great herd of pig feeding and the devils besought him saying, send us. Come on, somebody say, send us. Send us. To the pigs that we might enter unto them. For which Jesus gave them leave. And the unclean spirit went out and entered into the pigs, and the uh, herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. They were they were about two thousand and were choked in the sea. I need you to shake your neighbor's hand and repeat these words. That's what I'm gonna preach about today. Would you turn to your neighbor and catch them by the hand and say, neighbor? Neighbor. He's getting ready to preach about this. He's getting ready to preach about this. A lesson this. from the pigs. Oh, y'all didn't dress now, but look at your neighbor one more time and say, a lesson from the pigs. You'll understand it better by and by. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, Bishop, and let's get my sermon out of just that fast. This little piggy went to market. Uh, I'll, I'll be there. You may be seated. I'll, I'll be there after a while, Bishop. <laughs> I had the Oscar privilege of being able to go to one of the most prestigious, one of the most prolific, one of the most pronounced colleges in the country. My mother was a Southern woman, and we migrated from Alabama. And uh, we moved to California. But my mama had a dream, and that was that one of her children would go to college. What mama did, she worked at the post office. And she sent me to private school. I never had the pleasure of adorning the halls of a public school. Because my mama said that she wanted me to go to college. From first grade to twelfth grade, I went to parochial school. Some of you say, what kind of school is that? Catholic school. I wore uniform. Y'all ain't talking with me. But my mama's dream was for me to go to college. And as I say, stand here at my post this morning, every parent that got a child in the house, you ought to want them to go to college. But let me say this to you, there's nothing on any corner. There's nothing around the corner. When you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, our children need to go to college. And I'm not talking about community college. But how do you know they're accepting our children in Yale? How do you know they're accepting them in Harvard? How do you know they go in the Colgate? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, wherever they want to go, they can still go to college. I wish I just had the one witness. 
in here. Don't you let nobody tell y'all you ain't good enough. Because the same pencil that the Caucasian use, you use the same pencil. But I got some help in here. And one thing about a test, it don't tell them what color they are when you pass the test. And how do y'all know that when the Lord blesses you, he'll let you pass the test? I dare you to tell you missed that. How do you know some of your blessings is because you passed? Thank you so much. My mother wanted me to go to college. So here's what happened. Four years of matriculation. But Bishop, there were two courses that I remember very, very vehemently in my mind. First of all, I had two, two courses that I remember. One was angelology. Are y'all still with me? And then there was demonology. Angelology is the study of angelic which move with strip rapidity at the beckon of our God. I wonder, is there anybody here that believe in angels? Somehow or another, I hear a song ringing in my ear all day. Come on, y'all help me. And all night, the angels watch over me, my Lord. And how many of you know when you laid down last night, how many of y'all know you laid down with an angel? Have I got some help in here? Whatever means the mechanism you use to get to church, whether you're on the subway, the bus, or in your private automobile, when you touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, I didn't come by myself. I came with an angel. I wish I had one witness in here. How do you know? How many of y'all know about angels? Uh, yeah. And when you woke up this morning, I wish I just had no one witness. And, 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 and when the Lord looked over the heavens and said, go wake him up, he didn't come wake you up. It was an angel. Y'all missed it. It was an angel that woke you up this morning and started you on your way. I need you to tap your neighbor on the shoulder and say, neighbor, I believe. I just wish I had some help in here. I believe. In angels. Clap your hand and give God praise. The second course study. And I, I promise you, y'all, I'm hurrying. I need y'all to find that organist and that drummer. Because when I get ready to take off, I don't need to be held at the gate. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Demonology is the study of demons and devils. Oh, y'all gonna get quiet now. Uh, of demons and some of y'all are quiet because you got some demons. Yeah. Look at something. Like that. Some of y'all got an eating demon. Some of you got a lying demon. Yeah. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. Uh huh. And it's the study of demons and devils. And by a show of hands, how many of y'all know that the devil is real? Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. When I talk about the devil, I'm not talking about Farrakhan's devil. The blonde haired, blue eyed, Caucasian man. I'm not talking about that devil. And I'm not talking about that fictitious devil with the horns on your head and the and, and a pitchfork and a pointy tail. I ain't talking about that devil. But I'm talking about that devil, uh, Bishop Burns, that comes in Mount Calvary in that pretty white uniform on. I wish I had something over. That's why some of y'all got on life. Uh huh. But, but, but listen to me, if the devil walking in, in Mount Calvary, he did not walk in here. How many of y'all know somebody brought him in here? Yeah. The devil is a hitchhiker. Yeah. Uh-huh. If you let him, oh, if you let him, oh, somebody help me. If you let him, I wish I would y'all come and get me. If you let him, how many of y'all know he will? Yeah. Oh, I wish I had some help in here. He will win. Yeah. Right. And some of you sitting up here saying, the sanctified, come on. I beat the devil running and I'm so glad. And you in the real, I don't understand how you can say that song. Because the only person, oh, you ain't got no business wasting it. Because the devil belongs one place. And that is under. Come on. Oh, look at somebody say, under. Now see. Uh-huh. What happened is the devil has quickened the four consecrated walls of the church. Yeah. One thing about it, the devil sings in choir. Y'all yeah. ain't talking.
offers in your hair. Uh, that's what the devil has a, has a run of it because he, he, he resides in quiet. Because the reason why he resides in quiet is because he was kicked out the heaven. Y'all ain't want to help me preach here. And let me say this, when you come to choir rehearsal, you ought to rebuke the devil and cover the choir with the blood. How do y'all know the first Sunday? I know it was the blood. One day, come on, y'all. When I was, oh, y'all don't want to help me. He died. And I know it. Look at somebody say, neighbor. And I know it was the blood for me. One thing about it, the devil is real. One thing about it, one thing about the devil, he will confuse you. I'm going to help the priest. Then he will misuse you. And how do y'all know the devil will refuse you? Have I got some help in here? When Jesus was in the mountain, after fasting and praying, and how do you know it's after a good fast that the devil will come to you? And say so your fasting has all been in vain. Yeah. Have I got some help in here? Because honey, if you don't fast, how many you know you won't fast? Y'all don't want to hear me preach up in here. Look at your neighbor and say neighbor. If you don't, if you fast, if you don't fast, you won't last. You won't Have I got some help here? Yeah. He came to Jesus yeah. and said, turn these stones. Yeah. I wish I had me some Bible readers. Turn these stones yeah. to bread. Jesus responded saying, you don't tempt the Lord my God. And what he said was, get thee. Look at somebody said, get thee. He said, get thee behind me. Have I got some help in here? What do I do to tell them ever, get behind me. Have I got, get that jacket. Don't come back no more, no more. No more. Listen. Oh, uh, Jesus. I'm trying to hurry on, y'all. Was moving magnetically in his ministry. And he arrived in the cemetery. Yeah. Have I got some help in here? He would just had a seaside session where he had turned water into wine. Yeah. Have I got some help in here? Yeah. And here he was. He is entering the cemetery. Uh -huh. Can I get some help here? Yeah. And what he does, he encounters a man. Have I got some help here? Yeah. And as he came he came charging to Jesus. Yes. He was crying and cutting himself. Let me drop this off for free. If you see somebody running at you cutting themselves, the best thing to do is run the other way. Because how many know they'll cut you too? That's right. That's right. He came to Jesus. And what happened is, uh, he said, why are you here? Can I get some help right through here? He said, why are you here? Tormenting me. He said, Listen, don't you know that my address has been changed from Palestine Boulevard to Hopeless Hill? Don't you recognize that the great difference has given me parameters of how far I can go? Why are you here? Jesus looked beyond, looked in the container and saw that the content was full. Let me say this, Bishop, and I'm moving on. It's a whole lot of good church in folk. How many of y'all know y'all there's a whole lot of good folk in church? How many of y'all know there's a whole lot of good folk in church? It's a whole lot of good folk in church if you can ever get the hell out of them. You miss the shop, you catch it next week. A whole lot of good folk in church if you can ever get the hell out of them. Some of some folk come in here raising hands. I forgot this is United Free Will. I'm a missionary pastor. Some of them come in raising hell. Because they've been in hell. At the house in hell. At the job in hell. Children full of hell. On their way to go to hell. Have I got some help in here? And saw it was full of the devil. Yeah. And Jesus asked him, What is your name? Uh -huh. I, I would look at somebody and tell them, Say, neighbor, what's your name? Yeah. Well, look at him, say, neighbor, what's your name? He said, My name is Jesus. 
from there are many. And as I move on in my son Lonnie presentation this morning to the Anna Carter Smith, I think that many of those, the great, the consecrated walls of the church have a, skizzy, a spiritual schizophrenia about them. And that is, they got split personality. How do you know you get this one one Sunday? Come on, y'all. You get the next one next Sunday. They got skin in your free. You don't know who you're going to see from Sunday to Sunday. Have I got some help in here? One Sunday, they come up. Praise the Lord. The next Sunday, don't what you looking at me for. Split personality. Have I got some help in here? Have I got some help right through here? Some folk got a split personality. You get one on Monday, different one on Tuesday, another one on Wednesday, another one on Thursday, another one on Friday, crazy on Saturday, and then they come to church when they crave themselves with their split personality. They look at somebody and say, what's your name? What's your name? Yeah. Who is it today? <laughs> Who are you today? One day you want to dress like me this table. And then the next Sunday you gonna look like you got you look like you ain't had that the Lord ain't done nothing for. Yeah, yeah. Split personality. Crazy. Yeah. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde personality. Yeah. Have I got some help here? Yeah. And some of you with your crazy self can't lead nobody to Christ because you already crazy. Yeah. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Because how do you know if you play with the devil, he'll drive you crazy. Yeah. I got some help here. Yeah. Look, some of you sitting up here looking at me, you, and you're letting him drive you crazy. Yeah. But how do you know if you can tell him, he will keep me yeah. in perfect peace. Come on, y'all. Who mind yeah. stay on me. Yeah. Yeah. But Jesus, first of all, the devil recognized who Jesus was. Yeah. Uh -huh. I got some help here. And don't you think that the reason why you're having the problem that you're having is because the devil recognizes that Jesus inside of you. Y'all yeah. don't want to hear this kind of preaching. Let, let me fix it like this. The song we say, the Jesus in me yeah. loves the Jesus in you. So easy to love. Some of that, some of that don't apply to some of y'all, but some of y'all hard to love. I wish I had some help in here. Jesus saw, he recognized who Jesus was. And he said, listen, he said, let us go to the pigs. Yeah. Now, y'all come over with me. I got about a few more minutes. I need y'all to help me close. Oh. He said, let us yeah. go. Look at somebody and say, let us. Yeah. Let us go unto the pigs. Yeah. Now, some of you sitting up here with egg on your face. And I told y'all I was going to talk about a lesson from the pigs. Yeah. Well, here we go. Come on, y'all. You got ham hot. Huh? Some of, you, some of you eating ham hocks. You got chitterly. You got hog mouth. Oh, y'all still sitting up here looking at me. You eat pig feet. Some of you thought you were eating it high on the hog and found that you were eating around his nose and his feet. Have I got some hickey here? You got pig tail. Come on, y'all help me preach here. You got pig and I got some help in here. Something to eat about his nose. You eat hard headed cheese. Yeah. Now they help him in here. Some of y'all eat ribs. Yeah. Don't look at me like you got a pork free diet. Yeah. Some of y'all eating some ribs. Yeah. And I got some help in here. They got bacon. Yeah. I wish somebody said preach, Pastor. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you got show. Yeah. Have I got some help here? Yeah, some of y'all eat about the pig. Yeah. Oh, y'all ain't eating no filling in y'all. Some of y'all eat some pig feet. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Right. And I got some help here. Yeah. And some of y'all looking at me, some of y'all going home with some pig here. Yeah. And I got some help in here. And some of y'all still eating the hog mold. Yeah. 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 She said chip. Let me say it like I'm supposed to say chip for me. Yeah. And I got some help here. But when, y'all ready? Y'all got to get me in. But when, somebody said, but when. I need y'all to help me. Come on, but when. But when the devil got in. I'll let y'all know when to come on. 
I just need you. I just need to know you're gonna be with me. Don't leave me by myself. But somebody said, but when, but when the devil got into the pig, even the pig had to grunt. Uh -uh. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Uh -uh. Because that pig knew that wasn't the way a pig was supposed to act. All of that good hand. All of that good thing. I wasn't talking. Let me. All of that good talking went to life when the devil got in. How do you know everything goes to waste when the devil got in? Have I got some help here? Well, Mount Calvary, I thank you all for the invitation. Bishop, I thank you for allowing me the privilege of coming on your 30th year. But uh, as I get ready to close it by saying this morning, you good, come on baby. And that is, don't let the devil ride. Now I got a witness here. If you let it ride, he will roll and ride. Now I got a witness here. And I close it and leave y'all. What you need to do is, you need to tell the devil, I have a new landlord. Where is he? That's in me. That he, that's in me.